Hi, I'm here to introduce the Epicycloid Engineering Turbo Intubulator, the first in our lineup of tube modules. It gets its power from our Illuminox Prime power supply, which allows us to make 200 volts DC for the plate while keeping that voltage safely confined on the module that's using it. It's built around what's called a beam deflection tube, and it can be a wave folder, soft clipper, analog multiplier, or more. Right now, it's set up as a simple VCA. The voltage difference between the two deflector electrodes, which is what steers the electron beam, is being controlled by a sign signal from the Dixie 2 oscillator, and the controlled grid is driven by the envelope generator. Right now, it's set to a very short decay, and I'm going to ramp it up so we can hear some more output. That's about a continuous wave. And now I'll back it off so we can hear more of an envelope. Now I'm going to run the gain on the deflector offset up so we get some clipping effects. Adjust the midpoint DC bias of the two deflectors. And apply DC to the output transformer, so we hear some iron core saturation by sending the beam disproportionately to one plate. We're now going to modulate the deflector DC bias with another signal, the triangle wave output from the same Dixie 2 oscillator that's providing the sign, so we get some wave folding effects. There's a traditional cathode bias network in there too, with an adjustable resistor and switchable capacitor. Now I'm going to replace the triangle with the output from the morphing terrarium, which is going through a slow morph from an LFO. Now we're going to run the Morphing Terrarium's pitch CV with a separate sequence, so we get a sort of power chord effect.
all the tube's electrodes with the four inputs here. When I was experimenting with the tube, I couldn't decide which electrodes to modulate. They all made cool effects, so I hooked them all up. Now, this is what happens when you low-pass filter the output. Here, we're using the Voluptron, which is a tube-based ladder filter we're also releasing. Its cutoff frequency is running off the same CV as the sine's pitch. modulating the screen instead of the deflector bias. Thanks for watching. Check out our website at the address on your screen.